Hey guys, it's Tyler. I'm here with my lovely girlfriend Katrina and we're here at Disneyland. Yay. We're about to go do a bunch of fun stuff. She actually hasn't been on the train or Mark Twain since, since, since they've reopened it. So we're gonna go do that fun stuff. She's gonna go get the only, she's gonna get a max pass added to her annual pass. But the only way to do that is to actually go to a ticket booth. So she's gonna go do that while I go to D Street and go pick up a little Funko Pop, an abominable snowman that just came out today from the Matterhorn. So I'm super excited. Let's go have a fun day. Yeah. Yeah. I was walking through downtown Disney and I noticed all these construction workers doing work. They're slowly renovating all these rooms in the Grand California. So it's finally happening over here, adding Chip and Dale to every room. Even more construction work happening. Seems like they're also just kind of touching up the outside too, as well as renovating the rooms. For anybody who's a fan of ride makers or Chappelle hats or even Build-A-Bear, these places will soon be a thing of the past. They're all being replaced by a restaurant or eating establishments of some type. Not really sure what. I'm assuming the building is staying because if you look, they never mentioned that Wessel's Pretzels is leaving, but they're actually attached. So I can't imagine they're going to demolish the, the most of this building and leave Wessel's Pretzels behind. It'll be interesting to see if they make this a bunch of little tiny places to eat or just one big restaurant. It really has the capability of being either. So we'll see, time will tell. So I made it to D Street. This is the line. I was not expecting this. This just didn't even happen when the Hatbox Ghost Funko Pops happened. Let's... Oh, the line is back over there. The line even goes back further. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this today, guys. This is a big line. Hmm. Okay guys, the line goes all the way from here, all the way this way, loops back around, goes all the way around the Uva Bar. This is all for the Abominable Snowman Funko Pop from the Matterhorn. Crazy. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm not waiting in that line. I'm. If worse comes to worse, I'll just hit up eBay to be honest with you. I, not that important to me to go get that thing to wait in that line in the sun for who knows how long that line is. So I'd rather go have a fun time at Disneyland and go meet up with Katrina and do that. We made it to Disneyland. Toot toot. You hear the train? Oh. All right. What do we want to do? Katrina got her max pass. I have my pass. What shall we do? Uh, let's do Big Thunder. So the cool thing about the Max Pass is that this the uh, the pass is for right now. See, it's at 11:40 a.m. It is 11:40 a.m. Typical day at Disneyland. Just Cruella. 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 Okay, guys, change of plans. The other store they're selling the Abominable Snowman at is the La, Pe La Petite Chateau over in Fan Fantasyland. I can't talk. So we're going to go and do that, see how long that line is. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty long as well, but it could be much shorter than the D Street one since you need to get a, a ticket to get in here anyway. So let's go check it out. Through the castle. So there is Le Petit Chateau. They either have run out <laughs> or nobody cares over here or there's just a line where I can't see one. So let's go find out which one it is. Uh, well, they ran out as I suspected. Sad. D Street, I don't know how many they had left. They still had that huge line. Just out of curiosity, I checked on eBay and the cheapest one I saw with zero bids was $60. I've seen them go up to $80, up to $100, so they just came out this morning and they're already going for that much on eBay. Crazy. So nice and peaceful through here. I really like what they've done with the new trail. And now you can really go far down. Last time I did a vlog, you couldn't go down there. Oh, wait. This is new. Now there's a whole stagecoach. This is one of the new entrances to Star Wars Land. Oh, no. That train's coming. 
See, and this is a new, new, new path for the trail. Or, wow, this is a new path for the train right up here. It goes up there, and then there's a tunnel back there. And here's a new. Let's see. Jason Chandler. Jason Chandler. I'm not really sure who that is. I'll have to look into it. But Wilderness Expeditions and Delivery Service, I believe that is also some type of Easter egg I'm looking to right now. There's a little guitar. A whip. Really nicely dressed. I love all the little details. I don't believe you used to be able to see this little postmaster's office either. There's public messages. I can't really... Missing donkey. Interesting. Stuff you can't really see with your own human eyes. Very far off the trail, so... This is a whole new path down here to Star Wars land once more. Oh. Galaxy's Edge, excuse me. We can get a little bit closer to the Postmasters. That's pretty cool. You find anything cool? Oh my goodness, the entrance to the future of Star Wars. Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Oh Look, a horse. What are you doing up there, horse? We finally made it back to Big Thunder. Here we go. Scan your thing. successful trip on Big Thunder Mountain. Next up, I believe we're gonna do Mark Twain. Yeah. You haven't seen the rivers yet. Up next. So we are gonna go see Mark Twain. Katrina hasn't experienced the rivers of America. She'll come back and talk about it. Should be fun. We're here. We're here on the Mark Twain. We are waiting for it to get started, so we just made a fast pass for Splash Mountain. That'll be the next thing we do around one. On this hot, hot day. Yeah, it's, it's such a hot day that... Perfect ride. Oh, well, somebody's talking. Well, the Mark Twain River. I'll be your captain for this journey along the beautiful rivers of America. Ooh. We're going backwards. That's the legend calling out the death marking so we can avoid running over. 
championship to carry the stars and stripes around the world. <laughs> So if you guys can see over here by Hungry Bear, this is a new pathway that they built not only to expose this restroom a little bit more, but also down here will be the third entrance to Star Wars. So one more entrance to Galaxy's Edge. We're gonna have three in total. There's the chief greeting us up there. As we head into the remote areas His pals of down below. America, you're in for a real treat. The stunning rock formations, the cascading waterfalls, the roofs, deer, and elk along the banks. It's all so magnificent and so peaceful. Oh, and here comes the train. Perfect timing. We get to go. We get to see it go over the brand new trestle. Chief even waves to the train. Off to the side of the river is an image. And I do believe he's giving us a sign of peace. That means we're all clean as we head up the Missouri River to the home of the Plains Indians. Cabin. It used to be off on the other side of the island. It's kind of directly on the other side now, on the opposite. So, and it's not on fire anymore. Well, it hasn't been on fire for a long time, but there you go. And then of course, the evil beaver that everyone has dubbed Murder Beaver on Twitter. He's taken out the train tracks. Somebody's gotta stop him. I think it's really neat that they put the storyteller closer to the boat and more up front. Now if you're up on like the third story, you're right next to him. The village is like much more alive. Now there's much more animation. You can see everybody's moving around. There's smoke coming from the fires. Horses on the hill. Seems very peaceful. Embark, but while we're doing that, what'd you think of the new River of America? I loved it. Just the animation changed so much than like the one before, and then the beaver scene caught me off guard because I was staring at the train, and then I looked down, and then I saw the little beaver like eating that little away. Murder, murder beaver is pretty <laughs> cute, but pretty scary. Sinister, that was good. sinister. Very that was beautiful. Good. The waterfalls are amazing. So happy to see some waterfalls back in Rivers of America, and it's just a really picture after journey now, so I really recommend you guys go do it, it's awesome. Yes. Next up on our fun day journey is Splash Mountain. Our fast pass is now. This is a pretty long fast pass line. Check this out guys, it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon and Radiator Springs would normally be completely gone, but on Max, you can totally still get it. And there's still actually 4.30 p.m. for Guardians of the Galaxy as well, which is pretty surprising. Usually that'd be gone by now. So that's kind of cool. 2 210 for Soren. That's not bad. I think the only reason that fast pass line was long was because people were having a hard time scanning their passes. Oh. As soon as I said that. I stand corrected. Are you ready, Katrina? Oh, you got wet already? The ride just started. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh, water. 
It missed us. First drop. Here we go. She'd ever gotten on Splash Mountain, but her pants are like that's that's it. We sh she called. I mean, I mean, I guess I should like know because of the name, right? Splash Mountain. I mean, she's pretty lucky if that's the most wet she's ever been. We're done with Splash Mountain for now. We are gonna head over to California Adventure probably and do some rides over there. Have you guys ever seen the the job of the hut in the tree? Sure. Check out. Jabba the Hutt. You see him? You see Jabba? Jabba no bother. <laughs> duck crossing. Go duck, go. Be free. Be free. Oh, they're growing up so fast. Go duckies. Just taking them back to the water. Go for it. All right, guys. Now we are headed to California Adventure. I don't know really what for, just to get a drink maybe, or yeah. maybe go on some other ride. Crathy Circle's calling our name. So we came into Julia's Cats and Sons to get a new fuel rod. And this all used to be pins, they moved all the pins. This used to be where the special pins were. So all the pins have been moved over to this side now. And then on top of that, they put the limited edition pins in here in this little case. Kind of into that magical timepiece. Small world. It's pretty cool. So they just got a bunch of cool new teapots, actually. Some cool stuff. Beauty and the Beast. But my favorite is kind of in the back, hidden. Look at this awesome Maleficent teapot. Oh my gosh, I've never wanted a teapot in my life. Not in the candy shop, this is something I've never seen before. They usually put these things in cases. But they have uh, candy apples out that you can just grab and go. That's kind of cool. Look at this, apple pie apple. That's, a, that's an interesting flavor for an apple, an apple pie apple. Of course, uh, I've seen Frozone in the parade before, but I don't think I've seen him walking around since he used to meet in Hollywood Studios. It's been a long time. Hey Frozone, what's up? Oh man, nice pose. <laughs> and here's Mr. Incredible. So yeah, this is the first time I've seen them since they've been in the back lot section. So yeah, it's interesting to see the Incredibles over there. You know, something to note is that that will soon be the Pixar Pier. So maybe they're getting people ready for that idea or, you know, the other thing too is that Incredibles 2 is coming fairly soon, so. And that's probably sooner than Pixar appear, let's be frank. So, who knows? I haven't seen those characters out since, you know, they're in Pixar Play Parade, but it's been a while other than that, so. Pretty neat to see them. So, uh, we did a little lap around California Adventure. It's really hot out. It's very hot. I don't know if you can see the sweat dripping down my face, but we decided that it's time to go sit in the lounge and have a drink at Carte Circle, so. Join us! All right, guys, we're in here. We got a sidecar. It is Hennessy, it's cognac, contra, uh, fresh lemon juice, agave nectar, and a lemon peel, and some sugar on the rim. Cheers. Okay. 
Yeah. You're supposed to take a sip after you do cheers. So I was busy. <laughs> I was catching up on things. So, this is our favorite drink at Carthay Circle. It's very lemony, it's sweet, it's got a sugar rim. It's actually really tasty. I, it sounds like it would be a little too much, but having the bourbon um, really gives it kind of like a, an old fashioned taste, yeah. like but not as crazy, you know? A lot of people would be opposed to an old fashioned, but this is, gives it that sweetness, that lemony sweetness, so it's really good. I like it. I didn't think I would like bourbon. This is the this is the drink that we get pretty much every time we come here. That or a B fifty two. That's for another day. One of the weird things about this bar is that there's like no internet here, but actually, if you sit by these windows that are kind of by this desk and everything, see, then you can actually get some internet. You can see Katrina looking at her gossip. She's looking at her gossip. But if you sit over there. Where the uh, rest of the bar is, you will not get any internet. Alright guys, this time I got a beer. This is a Brother Thelonious. As you can see, it is a Belgian style ale and it is brewed by North Coast Brewing. And it's really pretty nice dark beer. Um, very caramely. And then like sweet but bitter at the same time. It's not it's not anything like a it's kind of in between a dark beer and a and, and, a, and a Belgian, so really good. It's definitely stronger, it has like a nine percent alcohol, so you know think about that, but I'd recommend it for sure. There we go, a successful Carthay Circle Lounge experience. Yeah. We got a couple drinks. And we're feeling pretty good now? Yep. And now we're gonna go do something else. I think we're gonna go back to Disneyland, but we're on our way out of California Adventure. And I just kind of noticed that there's a lot of these new arrival signs around. And, you know, Disneyland gets a lot of new stuff, but... And this is new. I've never seen it before. But, uh, I've never seen these signs before. So, it's kind of cool that they have a new thing to distinguish. So you know. I like that. So we were on our way to Disneyland and then I decided I was just super duper hungry. So we're actually going to head over to Uva Bar. Snack over in time. Snack time, exactly. Downtown Disney. And we're going to have a snack. Yay. Well, we made it to the Uva Bar, but I wanted to give you guys a brief update. They still have the snowmen at D Street. Mind you, this is hours later. There's still a big line here. It's much shorter than it was before. But this is still the line to get the abominable snowman from the Matterhorn. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> That's short. It was a lot longer this morning. Oh, really? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we're here at the Uva Bar, and we are trying the corn arepas, which are great and free, which is uh, pulled pork, guacamole, and arepas which are like a corn cake and so these are going to be our little snack okay i bit the bullet and decided to wait in line for that abominable snowman but we got some food katrina switched off with me but it's really good the guacamole is super awesome always seasoned perfectly the pork is really nice so and then the little tiny cilantro, the micro cilantro. I love cilantro, so. Well, we did it. We waited in line for about a total of 20 minutes. Got the little bum of a snowman. So, I'm pretty psyched about it. I think it's pretty cute. Uh, we did get one that was a little bit ugly, but I went back and returned it because his paint job on his teeth were a little, a little messed up. But there you go, it's got the Disney exclusive, Disney Parks exclusive, Abominable Snowman. Ma I love the Matterhorn logo on there. That's pretty cool, you know? It's really interesting because I remember when they did the Haunted Mansion ones, it was not that crowded. It was not as crowded as this, but here you go. Everybody loves the snowman. All right, here's our chicken wings. They look very saucy. I'm being polite. <laughs> She's not gonna eat, eat a chicken wing the right way. Is it good? 
It's okay. Thank I mean, you. it's not my favorite. It's not crunchy and stuff, but oh, it, tastes like, it tastes like a chicken wing with buffalo sauce. Too much ranch, but that's okay. Not quite as quite as crispy as you'd like. You know, good. It's got the buffalo chicken, you know, taste obviously, but it's just not that crispy. So, do I have sauce all over my face? Yeah. Awesome. All right. So overall, what did you think of Uva Bar? I mean, you can't go wrong with their corner apas. They're good for drinks. Um, the buffalo wings were lackluster. They weren't that great, unfortunately. I only had like a half of one, but... They were just kind of soggy and too yeah, saucy. Yeah. You know, there wasn't much going on there, so it was kind of a bummer. But yeah, always go with the corner rate, but you can't go wrong with that. I don't think I've ever had a bad one. Yeah, so that's our verdict. You know, get a couple drinks, get some corner rapas, and get out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to give one more try. Going back to Disneyland, one more try for the Disneyland Railroad. So, here's hoping the line isn't super long. All right, so we decided to come to the Tomorrowland station. It's not quite as crowded. This seems like it's gonna be the right decision. I'm pretty excited to go on the train again. Katrina's never done it, so we'll see what she has to say. Your attention, oh, right on time. the one that faces forward rather than yeah. the one that faces to the side so a little yeah. bit of a bummer but you know but it was actually really cool the little additions and stuff I wish I want to see it in daytime now because I've seen it at night now and I got to see like the electrical parade that was kind of cool to see like I see the, it from the train to see from the train and you see Hook like, yeah. waving at us and stuff <laughs> um, but now I want to see it in the daytime so I can see the like the rivers of America yeah but that's gonna do it for it for us today Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see at Disneyland. I'd love to, I'd love to know, and uh, I could go and check it out, and we can have an adventure together. So keep on following us at the Diz. I'm Tyler, and this is Katrina. Thank you. Bye.